Hello and welcome to another segment on the Black Suit Tonight African Rising channel. Well, I still remember Craig Bernard Boma call me Ben Carson. I bring you another epic segment on the continent of Africa. People call it the dark continent. No, it's not in my vocabulary. It's never dark. They tell it that way. Let me bring you something that is lighting up the world. So Rwanda's good at right. One of the global challenges of our time today is global warming. Predominantly caused by carbon emissions, one of the main sources of these carbon emissions are exhaust fumes from vehicles. As the world pushes for greener environment, electric motor vehicles are becoming popular. Yeah, you probably heard of Tesla. In our previous segment, we spoke of Uganda's Kayula buses that is putting Africa on a new perspective in electric motor vehicles or in electric motor industry so today let's talk about what rwanda is doing with gura ride gura ride is e-bikes yes smart bikes and e-bikes that is causing a sensation in the world right now in fact if you log on to google or even youtube right now and you type gura ride or rwanda's e-bikes you will find so many options and videos about it and we'll bring you explanation to how it came about so apparently rwanda has been in the news recently for all the good reasons from their great president yeah kigami and his beautiful family kigami's rhetorics against western media clean chigali and many more yeah that is about rwanda that you can find but today let's talk about something new the new baby in town i said and i'm saying it again go ra ride <laughs> the smart green mode transport company launched a campaign for non-motorized transport in the city of chigali and other districts in 2018 yeah since 2018 gura ride has been in the system trying to advocate for non-motorized transport i don't know the motive but as long as you are going to get smart bikes yeah be in the business on may 26 2021 yeah that's about two weeks ago they launched their first set of e-bikes and smart bikes in the city of chigali where volunteers went for the test ride Ooh, i know you're enjoying it by just scanning a qr code attached to the rear of the bikes from the gira ride mobile apps users can use these bikes within the city and park them at designated docking stations and pay just a chicken fee by the way the first three months for users or for every user of the gura ride is free of charge first three months i mean 90 days and over is for free man people in chigali <laughs> this is your christmas so well this is not a new technology apparently i mean the bike riding and sharing and all that for instance China is leading in terms of the technology, but hey, Rwanda is setting the pace for Africa in this particular technology. Say, hey, what my I say, whether China or Russia or whoever is leading in bike riding and sharing, ah, Rwanda has done it, and so other African countries are going to follow suit. So, apparently, some distances are not uber worthy. Yes, take note. But sometimes walking for same distance might be fatal too. So, there you go, you use Gura Ride. So Gura Ride is installing modern green mobility ride sharing docking stations across two networks. That's the city center and Jisimenti Kimuronko corridors. Yeah, that is that is in Kiswahili. Yeah, if you don't know, now you know. According to the CEO Tony B, I just call him Tony B, the company will make sure that at least each docking station will have no less than five bags at a time. Yeah, in places like China where the population is like swelling over, uh, there are about 50 bikes per docking station. So the smart bikes will be fully operational in July of this year, that's next month, while the e-bikes come into operation in somewhere, I guess, or September of this same year. Well, apparently, feedback from the test riders has been positive so far. About 65% of the Rwandan students' population that actually partook in the a uh, ride test or the test ride exercise are in full support of these bikes yes africans are accepting technology in its all forms right now and the revolution has just begun this is a great achievement actually by kigami and the gura ride man i know this is actually going to reduce motor traffic drastically yes yes i mean yes this is going to actually reduce a lot of motor traffic in fact there are distances that you don't need to move your car you just move the e-bikes and there you go you pay chicken fee no need to buy fuel now yeah, we are probably also going to reduce obesity since people are going to do lots of exercises apparently rwandans don't really need that anyway their ladies are slim fit man they are beautiful with smooth skins like babies who don't need any exercise man 
<laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen a Rwanda lady, ah, oh, man, I cannot go to Rwanda. I can't. I always I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, apparently, yeah, men do. Yeah, some few moves to reduce their height. They are too tall for my liking, man. Those people are too tall. Uh, looking at my, my, my height. Apparently, most importantly, other African nations are actually going to learn, and you see the ripple effect on the continent alone in the coming years. Ha! I can't wait. Uh, something like Fakuchi Ride in Ghana or Omo Ride in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. One thing that makes me excited about this project is how the government has collaborated with Gura Ride to adjust the country's road system, I mean road network, to accommodate bike lanes since the start of the project. In fact, Chigali is busy with those bike lanes. That's called progress. So people, there you have it. Banangi, you did it. Continue to be the pace setters for the continent that is rising. In fact, people love Rwanda. I cherish them. In fact, I adore them. Uh, the way they are supporting their leadership and all that, it's really letting them see tremendous growth in these few years that they have been in the news. So folks, apparently I will be ending here. Yeah, your money has finished. I'm ending the ride here. Your Uber ride has just ended. This has been the Black Suite Tonight African Rising channel. I have been your host, Bekwe Bernard Boma. Call me Ben Carson. Oh, I appreciate it. If you are interested in these kind of segment where we promote things that are rising on the continent of Africa and the black community. This is a typical African rising segment where we promote only African content. I mean, content that promote the continent of Africa. Branding has always been the key. And we don't have to always talk about the negatives in our continent. If you are only there for some of these episodes, then just subscribe, join the community, like, comment, and don't forget to share. You can leave your notification bell on to be notified anytime we come up with a new segment. Until then, See you with my next episode.